the probe finds a young, globular cluster full of blue stars. The computer system selects a suitable one and begins slowing down. It's actually a binary pair, a blue star and a white star. The probe spins around, observing, and also recharging its batteries. Flying out again, the computer system has detected an asteroid and a low pass has been confirmed. The asteroid appears to orbit a Selenic planet, much like the one we've seen before. The computer works hard, adjusting its velocity. One false calculation could send the probe flying into the asteroid at over 100,000 kilometers per second. The lumpy asteroid is barely massive enough to have a rounded shape. The rendezvous is a success, however, the probe has more important things on its mind. During a scan of this system, one of the moons of a nearby gas giant is warm enough to have liquid water. Although no liquid water was found, it's heavily covered by ice, kept in ice form by severe pressure on the surface of the moon. The moon has some interesting surface features, so the onboard computer selects a low altitude pass. Rust and silicates give the surface a strange color as the probe continues flying by. The probe begins increasing its speed. It's time to leave the system for good.
the probe begins leaving the galaxy. It's time to find a new one.